Mindful Life Practice Community. And, um, we're going to do a bit of a mix. Uh, a lot of the classic Pilates exercises we've already done, then we'll add in a bit here and there. Okay, so we're going to get started on our hands and knees today. So come onto your tabletop position to begin. We're going to begin with a little bit of wrist mobility and thoracic spine mobility. Let's start with the spine. So first, bring your right hand down onto the floor, push away from the ground and lift the left arm up. So gently turning the chest up towards the ceiling, lift the arm up, bend the elbow, bring the hand behind your head. And we're slowly going to rotate on the axis of our spine. So drop the elbow down towards the floor and then open the chest. So go, go only as far as is comfortable for you without pushing too far. Um, sorry, um, keep going. Breathing in as you lift and breathing out as you lower down. All right, let's do one more. All right, and slowly release the hand down. Before we move on to the other side, we're going to come down onto our elbows. So forearms are parallel, and we're going to do the same movement we do in the traditional cat and cow and yoga. So on the inhale, soften the belly, lift the sitting bone, collarbones are wide and lengthen through the neck. And on the exhale, tuck the tailbone, push the ground away from you with your elbows and your hands, tuck the chin in. Do this at your own pace. Two more breaths. Inhale, really open up through the front body and exhale, round everything up. Last one. Stay with your body, notice the sensations, notice how your spine feels, how your breath is able to guide the spine into these movements. Good, and then slowly, once you're done with the last round, come back onto your hands, and this time we're going to firmly press into the left hand without collapsing into that shoulder, press away from the ground, reach the right arm up. Inhale here, bend the elbow, and start with that rotation. So on the exhale, drop the elbow down. Inhale, open up through the chest. Try to stay really light on that left hand without dumping all your weight there, but we'll move up and away from the ground. Two more breaths, inhaling to open, exhaling to rotate inward. All right, last one. Good job. All right. Let's come back to center. Release the hand down. And moving into our um, wrist mobility. So we're first going to just shift forward and back. Let's do this three times. Forward and back. Think of rounding through the upper back. So you're really pushing away from the ground as you do this. All right and release make fists of both your hands and press the backs so the tops the backs of your hands onto the mat fist pointing each other and bend the elbows softly on the inhale and on the exhale press away keep your fists nice and tight push away straighten the elbows as much as possible inhale soften the elbows exhale press away keep the fingers curled in Last one, inhale, exhale. Good. And slowly release. Good. Fingers point towards the outside edges of the mat. Now we're going to just rock uh, side to side. If you want to keep the knees down, go ahead and stay this way. If you want a little more, you're going to come up into a plank position and rock side to side. You fix your level. And move side to side just three to four times. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Drop the knees, cross, cross the shins behind you and come to a seat. 
Let's stretch out the legs in front. And just bop the knees up and down a few times. Make a few circles with your ankles to release any tension there if there's any. All right. We're going to do first the spine stretch forward, the Pilates spine stretch forward. So let's keep our legs as straight as possible. You can point the toes or flex them. It's up to you. I like to point them. Inhale to reach the arms up. On the exhale, you're going to imagine you have a big beach ball here in between your legs and your abdomen, and you're going to dive over it, scooping the belly in, reaching the arms long. Once, once you reach the bottom, inhale to lift the head. And on the exhale, scoop the belly in a little further and then start to stack one foot over the other as you come back to that seated position. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, scoop the belly in, dive forward. Really imagine this beach ball and you're rounding your spine over it. Reach long. Inhale, just lift the head. Exhale, scoop the belly in a little more and start to stack your bones one over the other. So really power this movement through the abdominals. We're going to add on a little bit. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Feel free to exhale out through the mouth if that helps you activate your abs a little more. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, round. Come back to that seated position. Now from here, we're going to bring the arms forward and we're going to do the roll up press. So we're going to go from this I position. The spine is like the letter I, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly in, keep the shoulders away from the ears and really round through the spine, come into the C position. Hold it there, inhale. On the exhale, we're going to reach the arms forward, keep the scoop in the belly and reach forward, spine stretch forward, what we just did. Reach the arms long. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, round through the back, reach back into eye position. Let's keep moving. Inhale here. Exhale, scoop the belly in. Roll up, press. Come into that C shape. Good. Adding on a little bit, can we hold it here? Keep your core super engaged. Lift one leg off the floor, just maybe just an inch. That's okay. Drop it down, reach the other leg off the floor. Drop it down, spine stretch forward on the exhale. Reach forward over that beach ball. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, scoop it in. Eye position, adding on a little more. Inhale. Exhale, scoop the belly in. Roll up, press, come into that C curve through the back, scoop the belly in, keep your core super engaged. We're going to twist. Imagine you have a block in between your hands, twist to one side, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. So really twist from your rib cage. Inhale, your arms sit parallel, twist. Keep that grounding through the back. Activating the core and twist. Inhale, center, spine stretch forward on the exhale. Reach forward. All right, and let's combine the twist and the leg lift now. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, come back to seated. Last one, and we're combining everything with it. Inhale, exhale, round back. All right. So let's lift one leg, let's lift the left leg. Inhale, exhale, twist. Drive the rib cage in that rotation. Inhale, center, drop that leg, lift the other leg. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the right. Come back to center, can we do one more on each side? Stay strong with the core, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist, drive the left rib cage back. Come back to center. We've got this last one. Right leg up and twist. Come back to center. Drop the leg and reach forward. All right. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, come back to seated position. All right. Let's make sure we have enough space behind.
behind us. And we're going to first start by bringing our elbows down. So elbows are under the shoulders. Keep your knees bent, feet down on the floor. Now here, instead of arching our back like this and, and um, lifting the chest like that, we're going to think of drawing the ribs in together as if you were doing imprint on the floor. So you're drawing the ribs in together, belly button in towards the spine, keeping the core nice and connected, and then broadening through the collarbones. Once you've got this, lift one leg into tabletop, and then lift the other leg into tabletop. Can we keep this connection in the core and think of lifting up to the breastbone, collarbones wide. All right, let's add on here. You're going to do toe taps, but drop one foot, bring it back to tabletop. So really think of a bucket of water or a puddle. You just want to dip your toes in and bring it back. I'm not bending the knees. It's the whole shape moving away coming back. So keep that knee at that same angle. Breathe. Should really start to feel it in the abs. Can we keep the ribs in, belly button in? Let's do two more on each side. We've got this. Collarbones are smiling and you've got a smile on your face as well. <laughs> Last one. All right, let's stay strong. Can we straighten both the legs? Bend the knees, bring the forehead towards the knees. As if you were crunching, really pull the abs in. Extend the legs, straighten the legs as much as possible. Exhale, knees to forehead. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, in. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. All right, come back to that tabletop position. We're not done. Drop the knees to one side, twisting from the waist. Bring it back to center on the exhale. Use your core strength to move the legs side to side. Do this twice or thrice on each side. Controlled moves. All right. And we're going to drop them all the way to our left side and come onto the side. So bring your left elbow under the left shoulder. Legs are extended out to the side. So the right leg is over the left. Stack your hips, press away from the ground with your elbow. Think of lifting the bottom waist away from the ground. Okay, collarbones are wide. And we're going to try to lift both the legs off the floor. Can we try that just for Three to five counts. Lift both the legs off the floor, even if it's just an inch. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, drop that bottom leg. Keep pressing away from the ground, okay? We're going to lift that top leg, reach the right arm up. So the right leg is lifted, right arm is up. And we're going to reach the hand towards the foot, lift the leg a little higher, lengthen, and lift, lengthen. So think of really keeping your core engaged. You should feel it right here in the abductors. Keep the legs long, keep the bottom waist lifted off and away from the ground. Let's go for four more. And three, are we still pressing away from the ground with that forearm and that elbow without collapsing? Last one. All right, lower down. Bring the hand just about in front of your forehead so that we avoid using our hand for support in front of the forehead. Keep the hips stacked. We're going to lift the foot off that bottom foot and draw little circles. The rest of the body stays nice and stable. Core is engaged. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. If you went um, clockwise, go anti-clockwise for five, four, three, two, one. Good job, lower down fully, okay. Good, let's bend the knees. Bring the knees in line with your hips. 
and the ankles in line with your knee. So you have a 90-90 angle. Support the head or use a cushion here if you need. Whichever feels most comfortable for you. Little more for the glutes. Lift the feet off the floor. Charlie Chaplin feet. So heels and toes out, flex at the ankle. And now we're going to open that knee and close. If you have a cup of tea on your top hip, you want to keep it stable. We're not dropping the hip back. Nice and controlled. Let's keep moving. 10, 9, breathe. Core is engaged. Bottom waist is lifted off the floor. It's okay if it's not physically lifting, but imagine pulling it up. Five, four, three, two, almost done. One, keep it open and little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Okay, let's keep the legs the way they are and bring the left arm in line with the left shoulder and the right arm just on top of it as if you were closing a book. Okay, let me just, oh, here, all right. Now from here, you're going to slide the right hand along the left arm across the chest and open up the right arm to the side. So you're coming into a twist, so find twist. From here, close the book and do this two more times, nice and mindfully. This is really, really good for your thoracic spine mobility. Notice how you're able to open up that shoulder or notice if you're feeling a bit stiff in the upper spine. Last one. Good, and once you're open here, once the book is nice and open, your arms are in that T position, you're going to imagine you have a chalk or a pencil in your right hand and draw a rainbow over your head now. Draw a rainbow over the head on the floor and then bring the right hand to the left. Let's draw that rainbow back on the floor. Keep the right arm as straight as you can. Open it out to the side again. All right. Can we press both the palms down? Inhale. On the exhale, lift the knees back to center. All right. If you need to readjust yourself, if you're like me off the mat, come back to the center of your mat. We're going to dive straight into our hundred. All right. So find your position. For those who don't remember, don't, don't worry. I'm just going to talk you through it. So first thing, inhale, exhale, come into imprint. Draw the ribs in, belly button in, and crush that little imaginary cherry tomato under your lower back. One leg into tabletop, other leg into tabletop. Top, inhale, exhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders, reach the arms long. Okay, so either you stay here or you're going to extend the leg. Pick your level and we're going to inhale, pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Keep looking towards your center. Four, three, two, one, 30. Let's keep moving. Keep the shoulders off the floor. Reach the arms long. Five, four, three, two, fifty. We're halfway there. Let's keep moving. Breathe. Sixty. Nice and strong arms. Keep the arms long. Core is engaged. Seventy. Keep moving the arms. When you're moving the arms, we're creating instability. Ninety. Last ten. And five, four, three, two, one. Reach, reach, reach the arms. And bend the knees, hug the knees in. And roll from side to side. All right. Okay. Plant your feet down. We've got the other side to do. So hold on to the backs of your legs. Inhale. On the exhale, tuck the chin in. Keep your feet really heavy on the floor and slowly scoop the belly in, feel the spine off 
the floor and come to your seat. Okay. Now we're going to change a little bit for the other side to bring your hands down instead of your elbows. This makes it a little more challenging. Try it out. If it just doesn't work, you can come back onto your elbows. Okay. Now, same thing. We're going to draw the belly in, ribs in, lift the collarbone, spread the collarbones wide. And then lift one leg into tabletop, lift the other leg into tabletop. Try that out. How does that feel? It's very challenging for me. I can't straighten my legs. If you can't straighten your legs, go ahead. And then you're going to do the same, dropping the knees to one side and then to the other side. Keep breathing. If you're able to do this with the legs straight, please go for it. Drop and drop. Keep the core engaged. You're driving this through your power house. Your power house is your core. Let's do one more on each side. All right. And now we're going to drop the knees all the way to our right side because we have the whole sequence to do on the right side and bring your right elbow under the right shoulder. Okay, legs are nice and long, hips are stacked. Push away from the ground with your right elbow. Think of lifting the bottom weight off the floor and keep your core engaged. Okay, collarbones wide. You can bring your left fingertips in front of you just for a little support while we try to lift both the legs off the floor. Let's try. Squeeze the thighs in and lift, even if it's just an inch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. All right. Now from here, we're going to Lift that top leg, reach the arm up. Okay, so without collapsing into the right shoulder, press away. All right, reach the hand towards your foot, lifting the leg a little higher and lower down the leg. Let's keep moving here with control. You should feel it in the top waist here. You're using your obliques and up. So the arm goes up, the leg lowers down. And whenever you're reaching the hand towards the foot, really think of reaching, reaching, reaching. Even if you don't touch, that's okay. But lengthen through the arm. Let's not allow the top hip to fall back. Keep, keep those hips stacked. Keep pressing away from the ground with your elbow. Let's do three more. Lift. Lower. Last one. All right, hand comes in front of the forehead. Keep pressing away from the ground. We've got those little circles. Lift the foot off and little circles clockwise. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anti clockwise. We've got this. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, I know, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Drop that foot. Come all the way down to the side of your waist, of your shoulder, and rest your head in your hand or down on a cushion. Bend both the knees. Knees are in line with your hips. Ankles in line with your knees. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Okay. Let's start. By lifting our feet off the floor, Charlie Chaplin feet, so heels and toes out, and let's open the knees and close. Keep that cup of tea on the top, keep nice and stable. Breathe, core is engaged, collarbones wide, bottom weights lifting off the floor. Go as slow as you need to. Every time you open, think of squeezing those glutes. So if you want, if it helps you to feel that engagement, you can hold one count at the top and close. Let's go for six more. Five. Four. Three. Is the core still engaged? Are the hips still stacked? One. Let's do little pulses for five, four, three, two, one, 
Nice job. Release all the way down. Give your glutes a little tap. And come on to the belly this time. Okay. Moving into our extension. Extension, sorry. All right. Um, good. So we're going to begin with the breast stroke. So really imagine you're swimming. It's exactly what we do when we're swimming. So we're going to bring our arms into a W position first. Keep the toes pointing outwards, heels inward, hip width distance in between your legs. And you're going to start with the inhale, lift the arms off the floor, keep the crown of the head reaching forward and the legs long. On the exhale, you're going to dive the arms forward as if you were diving into a pool, reach the arms long, head stays off the floor. And then circle the arms around to come back. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, dive forward. Inhale, circle the arms around, lift up. So really think of lengthening through the body every time you're inhaling and exhaling. Keep going at your own pace. Inhale every time you're lifting, exhale, dive forward. And create your own resistance. Imagine you're moving through water. And when you reach back, think of squeezing the shoulder blades together. So activate the back muscles. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's keep moving. Let's do at least three or four more. Go at your own pace. Keep the back of the neck long. You're gazing forward so that the crown of the head is reaching forward. Last one. All right, come back to that W position in the arms, release, bend the knees, and just when she wiper your legs side to side. You can have a quick look at the screen while you're taking your little break. We're going to do one more round of the same, and we're going to add on, okay? So have a look. I'm going to really energize my legs and lift the legs, even if it's just an inch, that's okay. Lifting the arms, I'm going to exhale forward and start to kick my heels together. Exhale forward, inhale, reach. So this is also working on your coordination. You're tapping the heels together, okay? And the arms are moving the same way we did, okay? Let's try that out together. Legs are nice and energized, nice long legs. Arms in a W position. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest, lift the legs. Start to beat your heels together. Exhale forward. Inhale, circle the arms around. We're just going to do a few of these, working on coordination. Exhale forward. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your own breath guiding you here. We've got one last round. And release everything down. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Press up and back. Quick child's pose to release the back. You deserve that. We've just got one more exercise on the belly. So we're going to take break here. So breathe into the lower back, breathe into your mid back. Allow your shoulders to relax. All right. And on your next inhale, look forward. Come onto your hands and knees. We're going to transition down onto the belly again. So we'll do our push-ups while we're here. <laughs> okay. So fingers nice and wide. Knees can be down, or you can choose to come into the full push-up position, up to you. And let's go for five or six push-ups, okay? Now inhale, dip the nose down, push back up, exhale. Inhale, doesn't have to be very low. Exhale, push away. Inhale, dip the nose. Exhale, push away. Two more. Inhale, exhale, nice and controlled. Keep your core engaged. Last one. And we're going to lower down on the count of six. One, two, 
three halfway there. Four, five, six, lower all the way. Good job. Okay, now we're going to be working on our hamstring. So it's just like the hamstring curl must, uh, machine we have at the gym, but we don't need it <laughs> because we've got our own body to work with. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep the legs together. Bring your hands to the small of your back. So you're holding on to one wrist with the other hand. Any is fine. It doesn't matter which hand holds which wrist. Just let your elbows rest. Now, I'm going to activate my leg and kick three times. Kick, kick, kick. And then I'm reaching my hands back, keeping the legs off the floor, coming into an extension through the spine. And then I'm turning my face to the other side and I'm kicking three times. Now, when I'm kicking, I'm not just kicking like this, keeping my legs loose. I'm thinking of activating this muscle and lifting the knees off the floor slightly. Kick, I should really feel this muscle bulging. Okay, so, so act, visualize this muscle working when you're kicking, all right? And we'll do this a few times on each side. So let's start with the right side of the face down. Shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed, legs are energized. Okay, let's begin. We're going to kick three times. Kick, 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 reach the legs long, reach the hands towards your feet, lift the chest. The legs stay off the floor. Kick three times, relax the shoulders and the elbows. Kick, 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 extend, reach the crown of the head forward and the toes away. All right, lower down, other side. So the face, the face is the only thing that's changing, right side and then left. Kick, 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 extend, reach up. All right, you should start to feel it in your hamstrings. Imagine and visualize that muscle bulging every time you're kicking. Lift the knee off the floor and extend. Last one on each side, let's go. Drop, kick. Kick, kick, extend. Last one on the other side. Kick, 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 and extend. Nice job. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press yourself up. Child's pose. Relax the back. Stretch out the back. All right. And slowly round through the back. Come onto your tabletop position. We're going to do one last series for our glutes. Okay, so from tabletop, you're going to bring the right elbow down and the right forearm down. The left hand stays on the mat. So again, I'm not collapsing into my shoulders, pressing away. And we're going to do the fire hydrant. Okay, now when I'm moving the left knee up and down, I'm not moving my right hip. My right hip is not dancing around. It will stay over my right knee. Keep the core engaged. Scoop the belly in. And let's go. Keep that 90 degree angle in your left knee. Open. Close. With control. Con open and close. Keep moving like this. Let's go for 10. And nice job. Keep moving. Eight. Seven, hold at the top for one count maybe so that you feel that engagement a little more. We've got five more. And four. Three. Two. All right, keep it lifted now. Keep the knee lifted. Can we straighten the leg? Bend. Close. Let's do this three more times. Open. Extend the leg. Keep it lifted. Bend. And close. We've got one, two more. Lift. Extend. Bend. Bring it back. Last one. We've got this. Open. Extend. Bend. And close. Release. Take a break. And we're going to move to the other side. So once you've taken your little break, shake out the legs if you need to. 
And this time the left elbow comes down, right hand stays on the floor. And we're going to make sure this left hip stays over the knee, core is engaged. Once you're set up, let's begin. Open the right knee and close. We're really opening up through the hip, but at the same time feeling that engagement in the glute. Nice and controlled. So in Joseph Pilates' words, nothing in Pilates is um, without control. Everything is done with focus, with concentration and precision. Remember this every time you're doing any Pilates exercise. Full awareness is in your body. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, one, you know what's following, keep it lifted, extend the leg out, bend, I know it's hurting, it's challenging, we've got just three more, lift, extend, bend, bring it back, two more, lift, extend, bend, bring it back, last one, we've got this, open, extend, bend, bring it back, and slide the hips back, Take a moment here, breathe. All right, we've got the last one before we stand up and it's going to be the side bend. Working on those obliques a little more. So come on to the right side. Now, if you have any issues with your wrist, you're free to take this variation with the elbow down. If you can, with the hands down, go ahead and follow me with the hand down, okay? So the knees are bent. The knees are ahead of the hips. So my knees are not in line with my hips like this. They're ahead, okay? The hand is also slightly forward. So what's going to happen when you lift, you're going to press the pelvis slightly forward and your wrist will come over uh, under the shoulder. So we're using the obliques to lift the hips up. The knees stay together, the feet stay together. And we're going to keep moving down and up, okay? So find your position first, knees are bent, hand is firmly grounded on the floor. And let's begin. Reach the arm long, left arm long, reach up. Work with your obliques, lift the hips up, lower down. Let's go for eight, nice and controlled, lift. Use your obliques, lift the hips a little higher and lower, we've got seven more, lift, and lower, lift, keep it lifted for one count to feel that engagement in your obliques, okay, we've got five, maybe you look up, three, If you were doing it on your elbows, it would be the same, like this. Last one, and let's keep it lifted. Push your hips up, up, up. Lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. All right, come to a cross-legged position before moving on to the other side. Take a few shoulder rolls. Breathe into your shoulders. Take a few neck rolls if you need to. Just releasing any tension. Just listen to your own body. Good. And let's move on to the other side. So knees are bent. Feet together, knees together. Hand is firmly grounded on the floor. Try it out once just to check your alignment. So when you lift your hips, you're squeezing your buttocks to reach the pelvis slightly forward. You're Wrist is under the shoulders. So once you've got this, set yourself up. All right, reach the right arm out. Let's go. Push the ground away, lift the hips, reach the right arm up. Feel those obliques working. Lower down. And press up, nice and controlled. The knees stay together, feet stay together. And down. Lift. All right, we've got seven more. You really feel it in those obliques, that core is nice and tight. You're pressing the pelvis slightly forward, lifting the hips a little higher every time. Four. 
Keep breathing. Three. All right, we've got two more and then we're going to hold. Okay, last one and let's hold at the top. Lift up, lift up, reach the right fingertips up, push the ground away from you with your left hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, release, okay, good. Come on to your kneeling position, just bring your heels, uh, your toes together, sit on top of your heels and drop the head forward. Let your arm be by the side. Take a moment here, breathe in, breathe out. Take one more deep breath. Good job, and then inhale to lift the head. Bring your hands by the side, tuck your toes under, and see if you can come into this little squat position with the balls of your feet down. We're going to do what we did in the balance class we did last week, I think, or the week before. So see if you can. If this is too much for you, just come standing and come into a small squat like this, okay? If you're okay here, you're going to circle the arms around, trying to find balance. Do it a few times, and then try with your eyes closed. Are you losing balance or are you able to stay? Breathe. Okay, open your eyes if they're closed. We're going to take three circles and then shoot up into standing. One, two, three, shoot up and come to standing. Circle your arms three times. One, two, three, can you come down into that squat? If it's okay for your knee or come into a half squat, let's do this with the eyes closed. One, two, three, shoot up, keep the eyes closed. One, two, Three, release, release the heels down, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Okay, let's, let's finish with a little bit of strength through the legs since we're standing. Coming into a plie position, heels in, toes out, hands on your hips. Okay, bend your knees, knees are tracking over the second toes and your tailbone is tucked in, lower belly engaged, collarbones wide. And hold it here. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide, head resting against your hands. Press into the floor with your feet lift up. Let's do five. Lower down. Keep this engagement in the lower belly and press back up. Imagine pushing the ground away when you're lifting up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. We've got two more. Keep the elbows wide, neck long. Last one. Good, come back into the plie. See if you can go a little further down and you're going to drop one elbow to the knee. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, drop. Inhale, stay strong with the leg. Welcome the shakes if they're shaking. All right, let's do two more on each side. One, and one, and the second one, second one, come back to center, press back up, nice job. We've got one last challenge, okay, promise, last one. <laughs> we're going to come back into that plie, and then you're going to walk a little more on the obliques to finish. Hands behind your head, and you lengthen the spine, and slowly, 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 Come into that squat. All right, we're going to same thing. Drop the right elbow towards the right knee. Reach the right hand to the inside of the leg and pull down towards your foot. Let's do little pulses. 10, nine, eight. Keep the left elbow wide, collarbones wide. Four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Can we stay here? Take a break if you need to. Otherwise, reach the left hand towards the left foot and pulses, 10, 9, 8, 7, almost done, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, center, release, hands come down, heel to your feet together, shake out the legs, good job, okay, cool down time now, 
We're going to stretch it out, feet together. We're going to do the spine roll down, inhale. Exhale, tap the chin in. Imagine your spine feeling off the wall behind you, starting from the upper back, the mid back, the lower back. Keep your knees bent. Let the head feel heavy, let your arms feel heavy. Just hang in here for a couple of breaths. Notice how your spine feels. Catch your breath, breathe. And we're going to slowly roll back up, press your feet into the floor, start to stack your bones one over the other and feel your spine back onto the wall behind you. Okay. Reach the right arm up and overhead, let the left hand slide along the leg, reach to the side. Hold it here, one breath, keep the collarbones wide. Slowly come back. Reach the left arm up and overhead. Give the sides, give those obliques a nice stretch. They've worked hard today. And center. Reach both the arms up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up and give your whole body a nice stretch. Reach the palms up. You can even lift the heels up, bringing your feet a little closer for that if you want and bring your palms up, up, up towards the ceiling. Good, we're going to do some cleansing breaths now. Release the heels down, release the fingers, inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, exhale through the mouth, swing the arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, side out. Keep your arms really free, let's do three more. Big breath in, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, and come back up, arms by the side, and we're just going to stand here noticing how we feel. You can close your eyes, notice how you feel in the legs, in the hips, in the back, notice your breath, Good. and whenever you're ready, slowly start to blink your eyes to open. And thank you very much. Well done, everyone.